Hello, Nico2064 here, back in another video. Now that Thanksgiving and Black Friday are over, I thought it would be cool to do a review of uh, Lego Fantastic Beasts Grindelwald Escape. This is set 75951, has 132 pieces, and retails for uh, $20 in the US, anyway. So, let's get into this. Here's Grindelwald, or Grindelwald, I guess. Some people say it like that. Uh, so he is exclusive, for what I know. Uh, he's got nice leg printing, uh, which can be useful on other minifigures. Uh, torso print. You can see there's a lot of detailing on the torso. Uh, even like a gold chain necklace or something. Uh, then for the face, it's different. Uh, than the one in the minifigure series because he does not have a mustache here. Uh, even though I, from the trailers I think he had a beard in the scene. Uh, so, I mean, either are really accurate to the scene. Uh, he has a tan wand, just like the series. Same hair piece. Uh, his hair could be a little different. Uh, maybe Zane's hair. So, what's that? Oh no. Okay, there. But he does have a power blast. Uh, and I think that's representing what's supposed to be coming out of the wand. And if you don't know about the wands, then you can hold them in a certain position. Which I can't do. There, got it. Sorry. It's supposed to go down like that. Uh, now, for the back, he just has some basic printing, and then an open mouth expression, or a more angry one. Yeah, that's pretty much it for him, uh, Grindelwald, or Grindelwald. So yeah, now on to the other minifigure. So, this, uh, woman here has a very hard to say last name. This is Serafina Pyquery, I believe. I don't know, it's just what it says on the box, but you can uh, correct me in the comments. Uh, I really like the uh, sand blue, it's very, a very nice color on her. Uh, there's This is the first minifigure in a very, long, very, very, very long time to have uh, side hair printing. Because back a while ago, they used to uh, print hair on two heads, and then they would just assume you would put a hat on them or something. Uh, now recently there was Zane from the Lego Ninjago movie. Kind of followed that. But this is the most, uh, like, uh, kind of, uh, old style one. Uh, and then the hat, I believe this is exclusive color for the sailor hat. Oh, dropped it. Okay. But, since sand blue, very nice, very nice. Uh, and then, I don't know if it's exclusive, but she does have a very uh, uncommon piece, which is a purple wand. And I actually wanted to show a little uh, hiccup with my design for the purple wand. So here, sorry, let me show you. Sorry, I couldn't find it. But the... I don't know. If I ever find it, uh, I'll show you. But, yeah. Purple wand. Very nice. Torso print's great. It's nice to get this new dress piece in sand blue. Which, of course, we haven't gotten yet. Same power blast as Grindelwald. Uh, so yeah. That's it for Serafina. So, I actually had to ask one of my Harry Potter sources... Uh, this is a Thestral drawn carriage, uh, because I do know someone who went and saw the movie. Uh, and then, I believe this is the Thestral then, so, uh, taking this off. Let's see this here. Has a very nice new mold for the, uh, body. Lots of ridges, and lots of that. Even some on the bottom. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be this way, but there's like a chip out of the nose. 
can see right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be that way. Uh, but the wings are a very nice uh, mix of plastic black with uh, rubber uh, trans black. It's a very, very, very nice piece. It's even rubbery on the end here. But yeah, cool. Uh, and then for the rest of it, I'm just going to leave him off. Uh, you can see here. I really like to use these kind of uh, grass pieces. I don't know what to call them in black on the front and back here. Uh, the doors are a uh, nice kind of old piece. They kind of use less now. Uh, the wheels. I don't know. I do not know if they've actually had these before. I would assume so in like uh, knights or castle themes or whatever. Uh, you can fit a minifigure in the front, uh, a minifigure or maybe two if you take off the arms uh, in the back. Then, uh, removing the top, you can fit at least one minifigure inside, maybe one standing up. Uh, but yeah, there are doors on both sides. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not too, too, too much to this build. But there is quite a lot. Uh, here's the bottom. You can, if you wanted to, remove this. I mean, it's not a play feature, but you can remove it. But, yeah. And then, just put the test roll on. And, yeah. Then you got yourself the carriage. Now onto the box and final verdict. Here's the box. It's a very nostalgic box size for me, because I remember... Uh, a few Cars 2 sets used this box, like uh, Red, the fire truck. But you can see the Fantastic Beasts artwork. Uh, and then you can see this kind of castle design work on it. Uh, nice detail. Uh, then the back, they just show all the play features. Not too much uh, for play features. Uh, it's not terrible. Uh, so yeah. So for the box, now onto the instructions. So here are the instructions for the Fantastic Beast side of the Wizarding World sets. Just got to the end. There. Uh, still has the same ad. Uh, hopefully I'll get this set someday. The Whomping Willow. And here you can see this uh, Fantastic Beast and the Brickheads. They don't have the... Uh, Ron and Dumbledore one, so I'm pretty sure that's Target exclusive. For all the minifigures, I actually have uh, three of these uh, sets, I guess. But, yeah. Then, here's the Lego Life ad, which um, I, I watched a video on uh, the uh, suitcase set, so I know this is exclusive to this set for some reason. And then, no uh, Wizarding World... Uh, background thing. I kind of wonder why they don't do those anymore. They really don't change it up from this generic guy. So. On to the final verse. So for $20, this set is a home run. I mean, you do get a lot of pieces, uh, 132. Uh, I mean, it's not too much, but still, it's a lot for a set like this. I think the values there... I mean, maybe they could have bumped it down to 15, but I think, I think it's worth 20, uh, but you can probably find it for 15, and I got it for 12 on Black Friday, but, yeah, uh, I think the minifigures are probably the best part, uh, the carriage is amazing, though, still, it's very gothic design, but you don't get too much, because Lego is kind of uh, bright and cheery, I mean, look at this rocket, it's a firework. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, but you know, you don't really get too many gothic designs uh, with Lego. So I think this is definitely worth it. Uh, there are a few uh, new molds and stuff. Rare pieces like the purple wand and stuff. So yeah, rate it an A-. minus. I think maybe it could have just been a little cheaper. It's the only complaint. Uh, but yeah. Pretty much it, Nico 2064, signing off. And the bunny.
Kids, the waffle. Somebody save me.